time. We never seem to have enough of it, do we? Relentlessly driving everything forward, bending us to its will. The successful citizens of the last decade were declared to be cash rich, time poor. So yes, time is valuable. Every second counts. And if your name is Rongjian Lan, then you take this very seriously. Yes, two second finality has arrived. I've been doing a lot of transactions on Ethereum recently in my NFT art experiments, and I have to kick myself when I realize how quickly I've accepted the cost and the slow speed as just part of the game, because that's just the way it is, right? And it's that attitude, exemplified by me, that needs challenging. Now, when Harmony was knocking out blocks at eight seconds, that was already quick. And five seconds, damn. But now, one, two, and it's done. Now, way back last year, we covered what finality actually means by doing a test where we sent coins from one wallet to another and back again. And it gives you this feeling that your tokens are like the files on your computer. They can be easily moved from one place to another pretty much instantaneously. And that has the feeling of making them feel portable, yes, but also like they're actually really yours and not just represented on some weird virtual public network. So finality measures how fast a new block, along with the transaction inside, can be confirmed and finalized. Finalized blocks cannot be reverted or revoked, and thus the faster the block finality can be, the faster you can do, well, everything. For blockchains which use proof of work like Bitcoin, a block cannot be finalized until several new blocks have been added due to the threat of forks. So users often have to wait many minutes, sometimes hours, yes, even days sometimes, to get their transactions confirmed. And yes, even as we hit the back end of 2020, this is still an issue. Harmony's FBFT, or Fast Byzantine Fault Tolerance consensus, prevents forks from happening because for every block, more than two thirds of the committee are required to sign that block. So mathematically, it's not even possible to have two conflicting blocks with more than two thirds of the signatures. So you can't fork it. So what does it feel like? Well, do you remember life before broadband? <laughs> no, not you, Gen Z. I see you. Well, probably not, because back then, loading pages, web pages, it used to suck. Now, we still did it because the web was, well, it was awesome and it was worth it, but two second block time is basically like broadband for blockchain. Once you try it, you won't want to go back. One, two, and it's done. Thank you, RJ.